Here we go. <clears throat> Boy, Sarah needs to be C O P. The P stands for your profession. Profession in Espanol has only one S and an accent, an acento over the O. We know a whole bunch of professionals <laughs> thanks to flat part. We're going to make una lista, and we're going to list them in la forma masculina in the masculine singular form. What are the two words for doctor? Doctor or medico. And I know that you can have a doctora and a medica, but we're just going to put them in the singular masculine for sake of time and space. Dos palabras, our two words for teacher would be professor and maestro. Please remember with professor and profesora, no más una S, there's only one S. Maestro, some of us are still not spelling that correctly. I key a stop. Maestro, M A E S T R O. There's no I in maestro. If you are a police officer, you are a policia. policia. Muy bien. We know that we never mess with the A. It's el policia and la policia. If you are the dentist, you are el or la din da. And it's another one that doesn't change. It's el dentista, y también tenemos la dentista. Secretary, we actually learned in the feminine form, kind of sexist-ish, I guess, since most secretaries are women, but you could have a secretary, oh, if you had a man, so we're putting all these in the masculine. But we did learn secretaria, which is fine. A fire man, I guess we should be more politically correct and say fire fighter. But either way, we're going with bombero, unless he's a she and she could be a bombera. También, we did the same thing with nurse. We learn nurse in the feminine form because we tend to associate nurses with women, which isn't necessarily the truth. We're going to go ahead and put this one in the masculine singular. He would be an infermero. But we did learn enfermera, which is fine. You might make yourself una notacion, a quick notation that enfermo is a nurse, or lo siento, enfermero is a nurse, and enfermo is the word that means sick. They're really, really close. They're only one little syllable off. So you have the enfermero, nurse, and enfermo, sick. The student is what? La alumno or... Estudiante. And I have concluded being a student aquí in the sección de profesiones, in the profession section, because if you think about it, you're here five days a week, eight hours a day at the bare minimum. That's 40 hours a week. Who spends more time than that up here at this way like for practice? Or, yeah, okay. So I'm going to consider that when you're like, he is a student. What is that? I, it could be a characteristica. I usually go with a profesión. The good thing is it doesn't really matter because there it means to be C O P. Whichever one you put on this, you're still going to get the right verb choice. But I usually list it as a profession. Yeah. All right. Numero uno says the men are doctors. Find the verb. Where's the variable? Are. And then say, okay, what are they? Doctors. That's my P. Profession. So the men would be los hombres. Hombres. Amen. Hombres are not on the least of date con hombres. What I use swear it says somos or some. So, and then I'm going to use medico, and I need to make it plural, so I would get medico. So you can use doctores. If you choose to use doctores, make sure you add an es. We are lit secretaries. That is our profesión. But I use swear it says somos or some. Somos. And my word for secretaries is se Oops. secretary. Uh, so I'm going to make them women just because I already wrote the A. That's a messy kind of C looking there. Somos secretarias. Last grade asked me, what about the nosotros? Do you have to use nosotros? No, it's optional now. If you do, that's fine. You can write nosotros somos or you can say nosotros somos. Now, here's the only hard thing about profession. And it's really not hard, it's just something that's going to trip us up here, okay? 
We're going to do number three, and then we're going to come back and look at this rule, and it's going to make a lot more sense. Number three says, I am a fireman. So I am what? Fireman, profession. Would I use soy or is soy? Yo soy. Yo is optional, just like two and no sofros. Soy floja, I'm lazy. I'm going to leave that out. All right, what's my word for fireman? Bombero. Now here's the problem in Espanol. We see the word A in English, because you would never say I am fireman, that sounds funny. You would say I am a fireman. We see the word A and we know the word for A. What's the word for A that goes in front of bombero? Una. Or if you're a girl, you'd be una bombera. And we like that, because look, it matched up nicely. There's the I am a fireman. But this rule tells us that if you're talking about someone singular, like I am, you are, she is, he is, my mama is, that you don't use un or una when talking about their profession in Spanish. If you're just saying, I'm a student, he's a fireman, she's a nurse, you don't use the una or una. I wish I could give you a reason why, like here's why. But there's not a reason. And you'll forget, and you'll put the una or una, and I'll remind you, and it won't be the biggest deal ever. Now, if you're going to say, like, I'm a good fireman, or I'm the best fireman there ever was, then that's okay. But if you're just saying she's a nurse, she's a doctor, and then, then you don't, all right? So, numero cuatro, you are a dentist. When we see dentist, when we say profession, what is you informal? Two. Do you have to use two? No, it's all so now. So I'm going with eres, and I see the A, and I'm like, whoop, whoop, un dentista. Probably I would put una dentista, not because I was thinking it was a girl, but because I was seeing dentista that ended in an A, and I'd be like, oh, that's got to be una. Either way, una or una. Do I need it? No. So either way, e -e, you don't need it. You'll probably forget it. Now, last period you have a legit question, and I want to see if you guys can answer it. Last period said, okay, so what about on one and two, senora? Why didn't we use unos or unas? Okay. Yeah, there's no A or an up here. These are plural. Do we agree that the men are plural? Yeah. And that we is a plural word? It includes you and I. But down here, these are singular. I am, you are, she is. These are just one person. And in English, we would never say, the men are some doctors. That sounds funny. So that doesn't trick us up here in Spanish because we wouldn't say it anyway in English. But down here, it does trip us up because we would say A in both of these, but in Spanish, you don't. So that's the difference. Preguntas, questions on that? Oh, well, what do you got? Eres dentista? Yep. Are you a dentist? Eres dentista? You would say eres dentista, Edis dentista. Do you like how that sounds better? Edis dentista? Yeah. And that's why. So you speak Spanish and you don't think about it, and now that you think about it, you're like, ooh, I would never say Edis dentista. I would say Edis dentista. Yep. Good point. Nice. All right.